Today I will be revealing three extremely powerful ChatGPT prompts and use cases that can help you grow as a UX designer or any creative professional. I've arranged them in the ascending order of their epicness, so make sure you touch the finish line. On number 3, we have a prompt that can convert ChatGPT into a quiz master for upskilling yourself in any domain. This is the prompt. Act like a UX design trivia game. You can replace UX with anything you want. Your aim is to improve my knowledge of basic UX design laws and principles. For each round, come up with one question from the world of UX design, with four options A, B, C, and D that I can choose from. There should only be one correct answer. I will guess the correct answer. Wait for my response before asking the next question. I should get 10 points for each correct answer I guess. If I guess the wrong answer, then give me 0 points. And later on, I also explicitly declare the rules of the game. You have to assume that GPT is like a naive kid with immense potential. So you have to be very explicit about every single rule and guideline that you need to have in your game. Now also take a note of how I have declared every important constraint in the game. After putting in this prompt, GPT will actually become a very sharp quiz master and it will begin to ask me questions back to back. Now you can replace this UX design topic with anything you want to become good at. So if you're a student or a professional who's trying to apply for a new job, you can use this prompt to train yourself before your job interview. You can decide the number of questions, the difficulty level, it all depends on you. In the middle, if you ask GPT why was my answer wrong, it will also give you explanations and educate you in parallel. On number two, we will use ChatGPT to fast track our research process for UX design case studies and portfolio projects. This is the prompt. Act like a senior UX designer who has more than 8 years of experience in mobile experiences working in Bangalore. Discuss top 3 practical techniques for creating user flows, personas and user journeys for a UX case study. For each technique, suggest 2 free online tools that can improve my overall result. Notice how I have requested GPT to first become a senior UX designer and then give me a response. A lot of people don't allow GPT to switch its persona. I also specify the years of experience and the domain in which it should have that experience. You can't really assume that a senior UX designer would be working in the same domain on the same platforms as your target. I also add a constraint for the number of options. So I suggest three practical techniques. I expect two free tools and having those free tools is very, very important. Otherwise you will just have information and no actionable steps. So you can give ChatGPT context, put in your query, ask for guidance and also ask for the next step that you can take and do all of this from a better persona that suits your needs. Once prompted, GPT would become a personal coach and give me multiple clues. As of this point, I am using the pro plan for GPT-4. I would recommend that if you have access, you should totally get it. It's around $20 per month, which is roughly 2000 rupees per month. Right now, it might give a lot of wrong answers. But by the end of this year, all of these models will only become stronger. So my aim with this video is to educate you, just to open up your mind as to what all use cases this can satisfy. So that by the end of this year, when these models are strong, you have enough prompt engineering skills to make the most of it. Now on number one, we will be solving a very common pain point. We have a prompt engineered to help you build a UI design system. It will let you build a checklist for any specific component that you're working on for your UI design system. A lot of beginner designers forget to add specific variants in their system and that leads to a lot of missed edge cases during handoff. This is the prompt. Act as a senior UI design systems manager. Notice how I have not expected a senior designer. I have explicitly called out for a UI design system manager. Make a checklist of design states I need to make for a button component for my iOS mobile app. See how explicit I am at setting the constraints. 
give me the result in a table format this is a very important command otherwise it would give you everything in text in a table format digesting that content is way more easier make sure you include all interactive states and edge cases i need to consider in my ui design system now take a note of how i request gpt to become a specific person and how i explicitly prompt to generate a list for just a button component for an ios mobile app now you can be more specific and give a different component in a different context on a specific screen specifying the platform device and the exact component is very crucial and then i ask for a table format completion it just makes it easier to scan and i also prompted to include all interactive states and edge cases so vocabulary plays a very big role here for all of those people who are saying that gpt will replace ui designers will replace graphic designers it will replace a lot of beginners but the question is can you set these constraints until unless you've studied the foundations can gpt really really do everything on its own it cannot you need to put in the right instructions the right set of constraints and you can only do that when you have an understanding of your subject now once prompted the completion would form an extensive list of every important state and edge case and you can easily consider this list while building a beginner level ui design system in some of our previous videos there's a resource that i regularly recommend it's called checklist.design which is a pretty good website that gives you a checklist of all the components you need to have in your design system along with states so you can take that resource and compile it with this gpt prompt and imagine the kind of power and guidance you can have as a beginner ui design systems manager now i also recognize that none of these completions can really change your life or actually help you make good amount of money at scale but as i said this is just the beginning these models will only strengthen with time and it doesn't matter if they aren't accurate today because by the end of this year they will become sharper and when that happens you and i should be prepared to make the most of it now before we end this video here are three very important free resources that you can use to upskill yourself as a ux designer and prompt engineer on number 3 we have promptwine.com this is a short but very interesting list of gpt prompts organized by their use cases now as a designer a lot of these use cases will not make sense to you but this resource right here can open up your mind to possibilities so take inspiration and use your own imagination to design better prompts so use this website as reference take inspiration from all the theory you have studied in the field of design and then engineer your own prompts we've also made a very epic video which was on gpt4 use cases which was a list of very cool prompts on number 1 in that video is a prompt that will actually ask you questions and design a prompt for you so make sure you check out that video that video also had some very very cool inspiration on number 2 we have learnprompting.org now this website has a detailed step by step guide on everything that you need to know about prompt engineering they have an extensive index on the left that explains basic explanations prompt tuning and a lot of additional resources to get started anybody who asks me about prompt engineering i recommend them two websites one is the open ai documentation i've mentioned that many times so i'm not listing it here but if you haven't checked that out please make sure that you always and always and always stay updated through open ai's documentation on how chat gpt works that one single documentation has everything you need to get started but after that to springboard to another level you can use a website like learnprompting.org to upskill yourself even more on number 1 is our free playlist on ux design and ai tools now i know that i'm plugging in my own resource but i'm doing this because i'm very very confident that if you finish our 15 episode course on ux design you will have all the resources at your disposal to get started as a self taught designer and after that our ai playlist which covers everything about chat gpt mid journey and prompt engineering will give you the best best head start into this field so that by the end of this year you will have all the important skills needed to upgrade yourself as a ux designer now let's do a quick recap of everything that we've covered in this video first we use gpt as a quiz master for training us on the laws of ux you can swap laws of ux with any field any subject 
Next, we designed a prompt that could help us fast track our UX case studies and portfolio work. On number three, we discussed a prompt that would give you a detailed checklist of building a robust UI design system. We understood why I wrote those prompts in a specific way. I showed you the exact words and the exact vocabulary that you need to practice to make your prompts better. And we discussed varied use cases for each of these prompts. And then I gave you three very cool resources that you can check out today to upskill yourself as a designer and prompt engineer. Make sure you spend at least 30 minutes today exploring your notes that you made from this video and the resources that we've discussed. Before we move forward, make sure you click on subscribe and hit the bell icon because we will be making similar videos on design, AI tools and resources and a lot more and trust me, you don't want to miss out. If you're here for the first time, my name is Anch Mehra. We create content on design, AI and technology. Make sure you comment below what was the favorite part of your video. In fact, comment below what would you like me to cover in the next video as well. You can always connect with me on Instagram on at the rate anchmehra.work. I hope that you're taking care of your mind and body. This is your dost Anch Mehra signing out. If you like this video, make sure you click on like and hit the subscribe button. I regularly upload videos on UX design, marketing and storytelling.